Last episode, we had a crazy, crazy therapy session with all the witches and Satala taught us to save ourselves, to love ourselves, and that it's possible for other people to like us because Subaru's perception of himself is so distorted that he never thought it was a possibility. And then he had his head held up high, and then he left. Everything is looking good. And then we meet Roswell. Now we're at the fucking bottom again. As Roswell reveals the mask once more, confirms that he is the one hiring Elsa. He is the one raining making us snow. He is the master puppeteer. Not really. I still think that whoever is giving him the patch notes on the grimoire to tell him the instructions is the master puppeteer. But he just simply wants to put Subaru in a position where he is forced to sacrifice everything but the one thing that he desires the most. That means. You need to be able to walk down hell, the path of isolation, sacrifice the mansion, trample over Amelia's will, accomplish the trials by getting the qualification back from Echidna, maybe even make a contract with her, and simply become more like me. But I feel like in animes, this is a commonly cliche thing where fate, destiny, people often follow this script that tells them what to do, but the main character should be able to overwrite that script, come with their own solutions, and make the cake, eat it too. I don't think Roswell's necessarily a bad guy, even though he definitely is the main antagonist right now, getting in our way of the protagonist. But I feel like there's a way out of this. And the answer may just lie in Otto. Maybe, maybe just kind of keeping this guy on the side, helping us Subaru here and there, making sure that Otto is a friend that is willing to reach out to Subaru. He hasn't had a dialogue with Roswell yet. That's been hinted since even like the beginning and in the break times too. What's going on? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Coming back from a long break back then when it was airing and the first thing it, it gives us is a fucking jump scare. Uh, Here we go. Yo, he's fucking us up. Punch headbutt into a trip combo. You see, always look like this. My man has a judo flip. Subaru res resorted into pocket sand again. His his technique against Julius, right? You have no knight's pride. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Imagine Otto accidentally snaps Subaru's like neck here. <laughs> Imagine he kills him accidentally. He lands wrong and he loops. <laughs> It's just pretending. Then ask for help. Let's go, Otto. Me. New soundtrack? You didn't ask Otto, though. Like, they're really just putting Otto in the main driver's seat for the person that's gonna be the solution for Arc 4 right now. This is crazy. Oh, the soundtrack is so good. Where do we start? The uh, Echidna used us, Roswell used us, I have no self-esteem, I never think that anyone could possibly like me, I didn't even think that you could be my friend. But hey, let's start over from zero. That's right, this is where ReZero really starts, guys. He's gonna ask Otto for help, and it's gonna be like episode 18. This is the ascension. <laughs> もうそれじゃ。だから、格好つけんなって言ってんでしょ。だと考えてる暇があったら全部ぶちまけろって。その He's still using this cover. 
It's the cutest fucking disguise. The last time Ram saw it, and she was like, what the fuck is this kid doing in the bushes? Oh? Yo, this song is called Straight Bet. Yeah. It, let's make a bet. Straight bet. They gotta plan this. Yeah, he came back. The last? Both. That's gonna be interesting. If this is the successful loop, I mean, nothing has failed yet. But like, this is it? After Roswell has shown all of that, that'd be very interesting. What do you mean? Leave behind the one in power we only have? No, we don't have to die, bro. Skill issue. We don't need to rely on return by death. We can rely on Otto, and somehow everything will be solved. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, like, it's pretty useful, but I get what you're trying to say. What is it? Hmm. Would he throw away the grimoire? Someone as cautious and as careful as him? That's a... I don't know. Would he take this? I mean, if Subaru was able to prove that this separate fate or destiny is possible because the grimoire seems to only suggest that he needs to sacrifice one or the other, or at least that's, that's the future that Roswell wants. But if Subaru can accomplish this, that is an insane feat, and maybe Roswell will be tempted to take his hand. Yeah, just working together. でもそれは俺の心の問題だ。何も致命的なことは起きちゃいない。ロズ、俺が解決すれば、都合のいい話は I mean, that seems like a f I, I don't know, maybe we're setting up. This is foreshadowing like that's actually going to happen in the future. I don't know. But this hinges on Amelia being able to clear the trial though, right? I was like, yes, Otto is helping, but how do we overcome the fact that Amelia has skill issue and it cannot, like, overcome the trials? Alright. Very greedy. Yep. Yeah, it's very greedy. Mm -hmm. Huh. That is true, Subaru is his like Roswell's best card like th this is the fucking the one lottery ticket to his like future but it's okay <laughs> believe in me bro bet on me that's what I'm saying you're gonna cry <laughs> after we solve this yeah I think so uh, we didn't shake on it, but it's looking like this is better than ever right now. I know we're just talking shit. Like, all we're doing is just claiming the impossibles from happening. But, like, Russell's look, Super's look, with straight bed playing in the background, maybe this is really the run. Thank you. Three days. What the hell? Damn. Straight bet as well. Put your clown magic back on, bro. You're ruining my stride. And both of us are the two clowns at the, fate, at the mercy of fate, huh? Both smiling, man. This is looking pretty good. Subaru and Roswell? This is... What the hell happened? All we did was talk to Otto for a bit, and suddenly we're just re-energized. Roswell has been convinced, we're good to go, but again, all we're doing is talking shit. We need to deliver on the promises, and we have three days before the attack on the mansion, and the snow starts, so now, can we actually, you know, walk the talk that we've been talking? 
アウトストオフデスカイズ。友達としている悪巧みの調子。こそローズワールの行動に納得してるのか。ラムになものは一つ。ラスワール。それが揺らぐことはありえない。心変わりに期待するのはやめなさい。絶対なんてあ。しみなさい。Never say never。エミリア様に期待してるし信じてるよつまずく理由に気づけずに yeah, I know, Ram. Ram has no それがわからない、yeah. もう本の記述とずれてるんだ理由なんだよ Ram doesn't care なんてあいつも俺のこと好きなの He does Ram has always shown affection for Subaru in the most mean ways She acknowledges him to, to her again everyone else right, in this successful timeline This kid is a fucking legend just performing miracles like Jesus Christ The advice is With Amelia, right? Amelia hasn't figured out why she's been struggling. And that why relates to the pre Frozen Bond memories, but I don't know what we're really going to do about that. Now, is there any chance that Ram will ever turn on Roswell? I know a solution. It includes lying. All we have to say is Ram, isn't it suspicious that on the night that your Oni clan was under attack, Roswell just showed up after you got your horn cut off? Roswell planned that shit to happen, read the grimoire, and showed up and took advantage of you. And he's not your savior, he's taking advantage of you. If I gaslit Ram like that, maybe she'd be convinced. Now, I don't know what I'm saying is true. I have my own random suspicions too of the timely manner in which Roswell just showed up. But the more I think about it, maybe the grimoire did foresee a path where he just shows up to scoop up Ram for whatever purpose she. She suits. Alright. Yeah, he doesn't he does he doesn't know the flashback. Only we do. <laughs> this Is she? Not really. I guess that's hinting that we I'm also trusting Ram too much. Straight bet. Stinky, stinky. How are we gonna handle Garfield's suspicion? Uh, Echidna gave us a little hint, right? About how Garfield's scared of the outside world. And we're, we can bluff and says, I've seen hell at Garfield, and it kind of makes him scared, so I don't know. Hmm? ボクは僕だよ。それとエミリア様のことはこればっかりはお前でもって方が正確か。エミリアの傷に触れてもない。結局ビビってたんだろうな。まあ、どうきどらないでくださいよ。お前な。では、覚悟はできたね。ディープ
I don't know. The Ryuzu stuff honestly has been kind of snoozing on because I've been just focusing. But there was a question Ryuzu told me to ask before, right? The one that held Super Prisoner with Garfield on that loop. Yeah, maybe it's suggesting that. I'm thinking of, uh, yeah, the white Ryuzu, right? Yeah, the, a white Ryuzu. But um, what about that question? Remember what Ryuzu said? Remember that, what Ryuzu said? Ask me that question again about last name something? I don't know if that matters anymore, but that's the last thing I remember about Ryuzu. We can be friends. You, Ryuzu. Why is he scared of the outside world? Failed immortality. Mayor Bilma. That's the one. That's the one that asked us to ask the question of like, you know, ask my last name again or some shit. That's what it must be. That's what that's what the mention must have been because there's multiple. It's not just like one, two Ryuzu's wearing black and white. This one and this one is probably different or something. There's four of them, right? Not Bilma. There it is, because the one before was Bilma, and the whole significance of that was they want their sort of individuality. It's just it's just an arbitrary placeholder name, but that was Bilma. This is Arma. It's just not simple as black jacket and the rest are white jackets. There's four in circulation that's like maintaining this shit. The original four. <laughs> Wait. Arma. Bilma. A. B. C. D, Arma, Dharma. This is just. <laughs> Bill, I'm just thinking about the black jacket ones that are just like A, B, C, D. Bilma, Bilma, Arma. That's right. Artificial soul. And built by mana. Oh, fu they got like fucking firefly lifespan. Mm. Oh, the origin, the special one. The one that took us hostage and the one that was anti liberation. I think Shima caused a problem. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know what she did, but basically she, she had her black jacket taken away. You were a white jacket like the rest of the fucking clones. <laughs> okay. Shima expelled. Broke a contract. Oh. He tried to attempt a trial before, but did not return. I don't blame Ryuzushima for doing that. She saved Garfield there. Aww. He stripped her jacket too. That's why they're always together. What must have he seen, right? The past. He's scared of the outside world. His trial won in the past. He could not overcome it. What did he see? Mm, mother from a different... Oh. Yeah. Different fathers. Poor blood. Super ass. You leaving here creates an opportunity for people to leave it once the barrier is broken. Because you are in hopes that if you leave the sanctuary that Garfield will then pursue you and break the barrier and have everyone come with? Is that the idea? She wanted to make a place for them. She went out early to... Okay, she just she just went out to kind of like prepare like some sort of extra place. 
Did you prepare that shit? Because all you've been doing is working at the fucking mansion. Where, where is that new sanctuary? Arlan Village, fuck it. Parents? Mom left the sanctuary. Scared of the outside world. Mom left. Mommy issues? I, I guess so? No? Yeah, last name. He keeps the mom's last name. Forget her as like vengeance? Like, I will never forget my last name because even though I fucking hate it, this will eventually lead me to slay my own mother who left me a long time ago? I don't know. Well, shit, we just wasted time here talking to the wrong Ryuzu, bro. <laughs> it's got partial answer. No, it was not useless. We got to understand that there's like four of these origin copies, right? But three of them are actually in service and the Shima was got stripped of the duty because try to save Garfield when Garfield tried to do the trial in the past. Now, we got to find Shima, get the intel out of there. Then we can reason with Garfield and maybe try to get him on our side and prevent him from being an antagonist. EMT. E M T. Oh no! She's, she's bundled up. Oh. EMT. oh no! EMT can't sleep. It's been a long time since we've heard that. I'm not a tired of this name, bro. He <laughs> just says no kafuru on top of that, too. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Fuck it. Tinfoil theory. Somehow, better use exists within the witch factor of sloth and. The witch factor slot that got stimulated within Subaru now Better Goose is leaking out slowly and that Taita Destiny was not a meme line but hinting the re-emergence of my goat. Please, Better Goose, come back. Please, it's not the same without you, please. Mm. Who's our ops? Our past memories. Ooh, that's not good. He's clenching puck pistol, right? I don't have faith in you, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh? Remember, pre-frozen bond memories. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Who knows how many years, man? And the frozen bond has confirmed that Puck basically broke the pact with Echidna about the excessive interference and therefore also lost the memories. And that's the reason Puck was so sad about not finding Amelia faster. Am I correct to assume that? Or am I crazy? Because why? Because is it that hard to find Amelia? I don't know. But it feels like Puck violated something and he got punished for the... The pact that he made with the Kidna and therefore it took a long time. That means that he eventually got his memories back? I, I don't know how that shit works. Well, I still don't know her true age. How long ago? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Conveniently, her mom, dad, anyone related to her is just gone. It's just someone else acting as a mother figure. So we're gonna. T Ugh, I wanted to know more Amelia lore. What? what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Sounds like past memories are kind of coming out. <laughs> Frozen. Oh, Frozen Bond. Sad movie. I'm gonna assume that the mother-like figure is the girl that we saw in Frozen Bond. There was a couple frames. It was the frames of a young potential Betrugius, or at least someone wearing the cult robe with the green hair. 
And there was also another girl who has silver hair and pointy ears. I'm gonna assume that person is the mother-like figure that Amelia had once there. <laughs> Roswell promised to unfreeze everybody if she wins. Is that the incentive? Because I was Wolves. Because I was Wolves. So what about the equality stuff? It's gotta be with the frozen shit, cause she's always been waiting for those people to be unfrozen. And Roswell then what? Yeah. Keyword? Perhaps. <laughs> I don't I don't know <laughs> if he actually can. If he can't, that's so fucked up. And he baited this girl to just go in with him, but like I feel like this 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 ice is like Special. Like, yes, Roswell showed up and there's like, I don't know, Amelia looks very cute with her hands up like this. And maybe she shows some fire magic and look, I can thaw shit. But like, can he really thaw the people that's frozen too? How is that going to work? Aww. Does that make you think less of me? I'm more intrigued that this never got brought up until now. And the whole, I mean... In the royal selection, in the palace, everyone had their own platforms to speak on behalf of what they would run for. And Amelia never mentioned this shit, because obviously mentioning, like, selfish desires is not a good speech to give, right? You go in there, I know there can be multiple reasons, but it's interesting that she just conveniently left that out and was equality for all. And I'm sure she still wants that, but it's not a good look if you just say, yeah, I just want to unfreeze the people in the, um... In the Elro Forest, so, uh, <laughs> you know, and what are people going to say? It's like, what the fuck does that do with us, right? It's not a good idea. But now we get to see more of her motives. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, it's only... Who actually has good platforms? Crucia, I think, has a very compelling platform, specifically because it removes the Coven with the dragon. I don't like relying on the Coven. I think that the dragon's fucking evil. And then the next one is Anastasia, simply because she's good with money, so the economy would be probably better, but I'm not sure how. And then Priscilla and Felt are just fucking wild cards. Felt just wants anarchy and just break everything down, server reset. Priscilla is just like, <laughs> Zashu, let me just handle everything. And Amelia is just communism. No, it's not. It's equality to make sure. And specifically in a kingdom where they had a human versus demi-human war and Racial prejudice is probably still at an all-time high, right? Wouldn't a bunch of demi-humans also be in vote? Like, pop, like, they would definitely want to seek out Amelia's platform. I don't know. I feel like Amelia's goals are not superficial compared to some other people. Who cares? Personal selfish reasons? It's justified. Fuck it. Sugoku. All right, she's finally fell asleep. Well, Subaru, pretty good job. I think so. I think that the most important thing there, besides us getting to know about what Roswell promised Amelia to join the Royal Selection for, is the existence of that mother-like figure that Amelia didn't seem to understand before, right? There was like a reaction there where she was like, oh, there was that person. She was like, so maybe if she can remember that motherly figure in the trials, she can clear it as if, you know, it's, it's basically like a rem for us, you know? It's like an ulto for us. It's like pillar of support that's so personal. Maybe this is the change. Like, this is it, bro. Puck ain't coming out. Are you thinking that if you choke Amelia, that Puck might come out? That's what the implication here is, right? Amelia. I can't believe he did that. I know he... That's... That's wicked. I... Damn, I... After, like, they think of what just happened. She just cried on in our arms, talking about the past and memories. And we're like, it's okay, Amelia. Oh, you're gonna go to bed now? I'll tuck you in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
headcanon. Yeah, definitely. Letting off some steam for being useless all season headcanon. I'm, I'm fine with it. So you are in there. Pets. <laughs> wow, Subaru, I'm so happy that you called out to me by trying to choke Emilia out. It's okay, can you come out and give me some fucking answers, father-in-law? That was a child, Emilia. That was even... that. This is pre-Frozen Bond, Emilia, bro. I've never seen this young Emilia before. This is like pre-Frozen Bond, bro. What's going on back then? More tears. Her life is just so sad. She always just wakes up crying. <gasps> Finally, you show up, you deadbeat. My limits. Break? What? This entire time he was trying to break the contract? What? Why? Is Puck trying to make Emily more independent and not to rely on him? On him? Like, what is the idea of breaking the contract here? Are you serious, bro? You're gonna show up after AFKing for fucking how many episodes? Then the one episode you come back, you're literally gonna ditch us? But it might be for our good. I don't know how it's gonna be for our good. But Puck wouldn't do things for, you know, any, any, anything to really harm Amelia. It must be for a good cause in the future. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is so sad. It's kind of that's kind of fucked that she's confirming. <laughs> the only one person I'm, I'm I'm leaving you off with that one person whose love rivals me only second to none. <laughs> There's no one. There's no one who I know she wants to keep puck around, but like damn, Subaru, Subaru. <laughs> Oh. So it seems like Puck's existence is preventing Emilia's memories from coming back. And if it comes back, then I think that we can clear the trial, so this is good for us, but Puck goes away though? Sad. Sugoku, mother? That was mother's lines. Maybe. Or someone like mother. Puck is gone. I started to leave with, with but damn, that's, that's it. Now, the contract is broken. I don't think that means Puck is dead. Puck is one of the four great spirits. Unless that literally means he's dead by breaking the contract. I'm not sure how that works. And this contract was... Contracts aren't supposed to be broken. There's like punishment and shit like that. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen. But... Puck is gone. Contract is broken. Emilia has received her memories that were kept away due to the contract. Interesting. But with this, I think we can now probably clear the trials. イミリア様が倒れた。ああ、精霊使いが精霊で墓所への挑戦を見送られちゃ。せわねえな。ダメ、ブロ。そういう、いう意味では不憫な話じゃよ。時にガボ、スーボ。ボキマミレの兄ち
More fucking idioms. Whatever, okay. Emilia, but Puck, the crystal's gone. But, oh, oh, oh. But she's dependent on him. Be with her, but is this a good thing? I can't tell. <sighs> More frozen bond, pre frozen bond memories. But all of this stuff happening, immediately getting closer to Subaru and stuff like this. When I say the grooming stuff, I'm half joking, I'm half not joking. Because like from the beginning, ever since episode, the finale of season one, there was something off there with the dialogue of take your time, baby girl, and you're going to fall in love with me slowly but surely. But, and now we we're obviously just being here for like emotional support. The relationship between these two is going to be very interesting as this move forward because now Puck is gone and Amelia has fucking nothing except Subaru. She didn't even think of Subaru being the... Second in line for people who have so much love to give her. Most likely because she was so panicked and worried that Puck would leave and didn't want anyone to replace Puck. But this is going to be interesting. We're entering a new phase between the, you know these relationships between these two. Puck has basically left home and Amelia and Subaru are now alone at home. Yeah, Puck alternate wingman right now maybe. <laughs> More memories of the past. Hell, hell, hello, legs. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> are you the mother? <laughs> My goodness, that bodysuit design is next level. The lie? Lies. What's happening? Sugoku. Again, she picked up all these words in the past. Sugoku. This must be the mother-like figure in the past. The dialogue is very interesting though. All the people who told you that kind lie. I don't know what that lie is. They want to protect you. Hmm. Don't hate them. Something bad happened. The events leading up to Amelia going berserk and freezing everything, right? <laughs> Super is gone. He left. Was he not supposed to stay here all night? Did he, did he intentionally do this? I mean, he he is a he's been breaking a lot of promises always. That's the theme of this show. But like, oh God, is this intentional? It better be intentional. There there has to be a plan. There, I, I refuse to believe he's doing this because he's... I, I don't know. There must be a strategy here. But what? Make Emilia feel isolated? To do what? Is she gonna get motivated? I don't think so. Liar. Not Subaru. Mother Fortuna. Mother Fortuna. That must be the mother-like figure. Puck liar. Subaru liar. Oh no, man. She's gone. Amelia's gone. She ran away? Is she in the trial? She could be in the trial, right? Well, they see it glowing. Maybe this is all a big part of the plan. To make Amelia in this emotional state where she just goes missing. To cause chaos? To distract Garfield? I don't know. Ending. Gone. Baba! Ryuzu Shima gone. Subaru probably with Shima to get more information out in order to be able to use the past memories to work in our favor against Garfield, right? What's going on?
The cup? No, Subaru. Otto. What the? Otto's got a plan? That's on Subaru. Okay. Oh. Yo, what does pop in up recently? And this triumphant comeback with a second core and him to have the strategy that just solved Subaru's issues. And now, you know, this fucking final line here, all kinds of conspiratorial plans are already laid out. Now, would you like to be the host instead? Look at that frame of Otto, and that's the episode, right? Not yet. Amelia. Okay, so she isn't here. The kind lies. Oh, I'm back. Yo. He looks scuffed up. His jacket, the face. I don't know what he went and did, but he's back. Also, that implies that he got the qualifications back. Because he can't enter here. How the hell? He did some shit with the kid now. I don't know what he must have done, but he got the qualification back. Unless he brute forced it? Because his face looks kind of fucked up. Did he brute? You can't just brute force it. You die. Wouldn't you just die? I. I <laughs> It, it, like, like Roswell got messed up. The last time we tried to enter, we were puking out Patrash internal damage. Subaru though, I don't think he has advanced healing. How that he is scuffed up. I'm not sure. EMT. I'm kind of confused on what happened there because what was his goal? To leave Amelia at night to break the promise to create such a chaos and then for Garfield to get baited out to go to Otto? Well, Otto said that that was not part of the plan, but I don't know exactly how he's in here. We have to assume that he did something with Echidna and got the qualifications while during the nighttime, or he somehow brute forced it and is somehow in here. I mean, there are marks on his face. I just expected you to just get completely fucked up because of what happened to Patrash and how he acted when entering this place without the qualification last time. But that's today's episode. Today's episode was pretty triumphant. It was very triumphant because now Subaru is actually asking Otto for help. All the different people, the examples that Subaru had in his mind and when he asked for help were people that was trying to manipulate and use him for their own favorites like Echidna and Rosball. But with Otto kind of just cleverly orchestrating these conspiratorial theories and for us to go and challenge Roswell into a bed and to eventually even work together with them, everything is looking pretty great. We have a couple more revelations in the amount of actual origin clones there are and how Shima is important to Garfield's past. We got to know more about, you know, Federica's desire to create a place just ready for the people of Sanctuary to be liberated, even though I don't see her ass building out anything unless we're just going to stick those people in Arlan Village. Emilia now has gotten more of her memories back, thanks to fucking deadbeat Puck leaving again. The contract has been broken. I'm not sure what kind of punishment or some kind of consequences Puck will have, but he has broken the contract and now he's seemingly gone for now. And things are looking pretty good. I'm still kind of confused on whether or not he brute forced it or he somehow got a qualification a different way, but this run is looking more possible. The more that I see this, the, the, the biggest, you know, limiting factor was Amelia's resolve and like how she can pass a trial, but with the memories returning, with Mother Fortuna memories and all the different things, maybe this is the run. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, Take care.